today we're going to be looking at using FFmpeg to take videos and convert them into a series uh, or a sequence of still images, JPEGs or PNGs or whatever uh, still image format you uh, prefer. So real quick, let me list out here. Uh, you can see I've got one uh, MOV file. It's a video file taken with my camera. Um, and uh, here, I'll just play it out for us. Uh, and player and that. Sorry, it's actually partially out of your view here, but it's uh, just an L train up in Chicago that I took uh, while I was on vacation. So basically, we're going to take that and um, put it uh, into a series of still images. So real quick, just to give you a little more of a visual on it. This is uh, the folder, and there's the file. And so when I start generating the still images, you'll see them appearing in here. So let me clear this screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, FFmpeg dash I and then the name of our input file, just like we always do with with uh, FFmpeg dash I. Let's the FFmpeg know which files are input files. So there's our video file, and really uh, at this point, uh, almost all we have to do is give it the output name. I'll go with JPEG in this case, but you can do JPEGs or PNGs. And I'll just call it video.jpg. Now, if we do that, you'll see we get an error. And if we go and uh, look here, you can see that we do have one still image there, video.jpg, and it's the first frame of the video. It's about a 10 second video. So, uh, what, what, what happened here? Well, the thing is, we gave it just a static name. Uh, so it goes, okay, we're going to export to video.jpg for the first frame. Then it goes, oh, what do I do for the second frame? So we need to tell it how we want to name it for each um, image. Uh, as I said, it's uh, 30 frames a second, and it's about a 10 second video, so there's about 300 frames in this video. So what we're going to do here is instead of just going ffmpeg-input, uh, the name of the file here, and uh, then output file name, we need to tell it here, and I've gone over this in the past, we're going to say percent %d. And this will, that percent %d is basically a variable uh, saying go in numeric order and it will number it. So if I hit enter now, you'll see it's starting to generate the still images. If we go here, you can see them being generated. We still have one issue. It's not a huge issue, but um, you'll notice we have video 1, video 2, video 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's fine, but that's not really alphabetical order. If we put these in alphabetical order, they're going to be out of order. You'll have 1 near 10 and 11 and 100. Here, let me hit Q to quit that process, and I'll list out in the terminal so it's actually in alphabetical order. Now, this is fine in some cases, but depending on what you're doing, you may not want 109 uh, next to 110. Uh, once again, all depends on what you're doing. If you're planning on putting this back into a video file later on, doing it this way is absolutely fine. Um, but if you're doing other stuff with it, it, this may not work for you. So what we're going to do is I'll just RM to remove all the JPEGs. So we're back to having just our video file. And what I'm going to do here is instead of percent %d, I'm going to do percent %4d. And that means that the number will be four digits no matter what. So we'll have zeros as placeholders. If I hit enter, you'll see right here. Now we've got instead of video1.jpg, we have video 0 1.jpg. So that's great. Uh, once again, all depending on what you're doing, I'm going to uh, queue to quit that. Once again, I'm going to remove, delete all those JPEGs. So we're back down to our original video. We have a video that's 30 frames a second, uh, and it's about 10 seconds long, so we have almost, almost 300 uh, frames in this video. Let's say you don't need all those frames. You just want to grab a bunch of them for whatever reason. Maybe you're uh, going to be creating something and you're just going to need uh, every couple of frames instead of every frame. What you can do is you can change the frame rate. We're going to say FFmpeg dash I in the name of our video file. And just like before, we can say video percent D dot JPEG. But what we're going to do is here, we're going to say dash R for rate. And as I said, it's a 30 frame a second uh, video, but if we do 10, it will just do basically every third frame. It's going to do it at 10 frames a second. It will still number them properly. If we look here, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So they're still numbered in order, but we're actually skipping a lot of frames. Um, and you can do that with uh, you know, any frame. You can do one frame a second. 
Um, I think, and let me check this out. I'm pretty sure I've done this before. Let me remove all those JPEGs. We're going to run that same command, but I'm going to say 0.1. I think this will work. And yeah, it's do, it did three frames because we did 0.1 frames. So you can do a fraction of a second or at frame rate, which would give you basically an image every so many seconds, depending on what number you put in. So in the 10 second video, we only got three shots here. Um, you notice even though we only did three frames, uh, it still took a little while because basically FFmpeg, just imagine it going through the whole video. So it doesn't just go, oh, jump here, jump here, jump here, I'm done. It's actually going, okay, read through here. Okay, we'll take that one. Read through here. Okay, we'll take that one. So that's why it still takes a little bit. And if you have a real long video, uh, it may still take a while. Uh, so let me see. I feel like there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys with this, but I'm drawing a blank on it now. Um, I guess I won't really show you this, but I'll go over, you know, um, well, I'll show you. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have no JPEGs in here. Let's say you want to just grab part of that video. You do it just like if you were using FFmpeg to convert from one video format to another. So we'll say FFmpeg-i, our input file, and then we will say dash SS for start time, uh, start seconds. I really don't know what SS stands for, but that's the, the time stamp that you're starting at. So we have a 10 second video. I'll start at the eighth second. So I'm gonna say zero colon zero zero. So that's hours, minutes, and then zero eight for eight seconds. So it's gonna start at the eighth second. And once again, we'll say video percent D dot JPEG. We'll hit enter. And as you can see, it's going through the video, but it hasn't exported anything yet. The frames, it's the number of frames it's exported, zero. Now we're going through, we've hit the eighth second of the video. And if we come here, you can see the train is up close because we started at the eighth second and we can go through all these. And there are 75, if you look, I just realized I'm at a frame here, uh, 75 frames altogether there. So we basically exported the last just over two seconds, basically two and a half seconds, because it was slightly over 10 seconds, it's about 10 and a half seconds, obviously. And uh, we can remove all those. And we can do a start time and an end time. Uh, I can say, uh, now let's start at uh, the third second, and we'll say dash T, uh, we're going to go um, two seconds. Uh, I'm going to say zero colon, zero, zero colon, zero, two. And if I hit enter now, we should get from second three through second five. So it should be about 60 frames. Yes, it did exactly 60 frames. So here we go, you can see we're not on the first frame of the video, let me move this up for you here. But if we go through, we have 60 frames, so we have from frame uh, second three, the third second to the fifth second. And of course you don't have to put a start time, if you just want uh, the first two seconds of the video, you can just remove this SS and just say dash T, um, start at the beginning basically and go zero hours, hours, zero minutes and two seconds. We do that and we should get 60 seconds again, or I'm sorry, 60 frames again, right here, from the first frame through the 60th frame or from zero seconds to two seconds. So I hope you found this useful. If for some reason you need to uh, break a video into uh, different still images, um, I showed you some, most of the basic options and you know now you can manipulate them maybe in a still image editor if you want to add some effects using GIMP and some bulk processes or or even um, image magic I've done that before I uh, write a little script that adds uh, an effect to a still image but has it loop through all the images and then put it back as to a video which we'll go over in a future tutorial but I want to thank you for watching I hope that you have a great day, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.